Hi everyone, Salna here. The Department of Basic Education in 2017 conducted a global assessment on bullying in schools and concluded that South African learners are the most likely to be bullied. Let me say that again. Amongst all the schools in the world, South African learners are the most bullied. I was invited to assist a school student uh, organization with an anti-bullying campaign. So in my presentation to learners, I explained what bullying is and what the legal consequences of bullying is as well. So bullying, some say, is a show of power to dominate another and this can be described as the intentional wrongful act you know whether it's a physical act verbal written or even like a gesture and this is something that takes place repeatedly and it's performed either by an individual or a group of, of persons so what are the consequences um, the South African Schools Act state that the school must have a, a code of conduct and this code uh, it's going to regulate the behavior and before performance of learners so if the learner breaches that code he could either be expelled or suspended so if the school doesn't do anything about you know bullying that school could be held liable so secondly depending on what the perpetrator said um, it is possible that the bully's parents could be sued for defamation of character thirdly what if what was done was intended to humiliate impair and impair the dignity of the complainant the bully could be found guilty of the crime of crimen in urea uh, fourthly, there's also intimidation. Intimidation is a criminal offense in South African law and that includes, could be an assault, injury, damage to any person in order to compel them to do something or to abstain from doing something. So if you're found guilty, you could be liable to a fine or imprisonment. Then fifthly, um, depending on the severity of the physical harm, the bully could also be arrested for aggravated assault. And that is also known as assault with intent to do grievous bodily harm. So this involves more serious harm, such as severe injuries or the use of a weapon. The Department of Basic Education last year said it was proposing laws that could see bullies as young as 10 years old being arrested and seeing you know the inside of a jail cell because violence in schools are escalating you know these type of legislative proposals or interventions may be implemented also if the parent knows that this child is bullying another another child and they do nothing about it or they cover up they could be seen as an accomplice to all the crimes listed above so what can you do firstly you must report it to your school get the school involved and the counselor involved you can also approach SAPS to lay a criminal charge and um, against the, the perpetrator the department last year announced plans to amend legislation, you know, enabling child victims of bullying to seek protection orders um, against their aggressors, which which is good. However, I think this is already available to complainants. The school or SAPS should assist a child, you know, or his parents in obtaining such a protection order when it is needed. Bye for now.